Okay, I'm Brian the Joker Lambertson. But today, I'm not joking or not right now. I'm being serious. And I know, kind of ironic with the nickname, but right now, I'm just trying to bring some political change. See, first, I want to start off with a question or two. First question. Do you care about your kids' education? Third question. A uh, second question, I'm sorry. Second question. Do you care? Enough for your kids' education. That you'd want the lottery system legalized down here in a casino legalized down here. Now, before you answer the second question, which I will bring up at the end of this video again so you could answer it with a more knowledge behind your answer, okay? This state does not want you to know that legalizing the lottery system and a cas legalizing casinos to be opened up in the state. The tax, uh, tax revenue can be set up for that, to help pay for the school systems, to help pay for the bus systems, school bus systems, for every sit town school system in Alabama. To help pay for stuff that a lot of parents are paying out of pocket for now. I mean, come on. There's a locker fee from the last I heard. If they got rid of it, well, that's one step towards making less hassle on parents. But from last I heard, that's a locker fee. One, that tax revenue, again, which I, I'm going to call a gambling tax revenue, could be used to make sure that locker's are already paid for. You don't have to fucking pay. Excuse my language. But you don't have to pay for the lockers you don't ha have to pay straight out for a kid to get on a bus you don't have to pay for a bus pass for a kid to get on a bus it could even help pay for the public transit system so even if they don't want a school bus systems at least a public transit system could work without a kid having to pay for it. Parents having to pay for a bus pass or some crap. A monthly bus pass at that. I see my whole cousin stack of them. I don't know if they still do it like that, but I saw my whole one cousin's. She had a stack of them for each month. How much you I'm willing to bet my aunt, how much my aunt had to pay for that crap? Or my in my aunt's case, most likely my grandmother paid for it because my aunt didn't really care enough. But anyways, how much, I mean, really? On top of that, there's up-to-date textbooks. You really want kids learning out of out-of-date textbooks? On top of that, do you really want your kids are learning something that in ninth grade that I've learned in seventh grade or eighth grade or even sixth grade. Like I've seen a high school a friend's homework from his high school, from ninth grade. Matter of fact, no matter of fact, discussion. I saw my cousin before she graduated. She showed me one for math homework. That was she I was doing in middle school. She I was doing in elementary at the end of my last year in elementary school. And when I went to middle school, there was stuff I was by the time I got in high school I was doing what you would consider what this state would consider college level math. Heck my math homework. I'm in college it's stuff I've already done in high school. But all 
the revenue that could come from a gambling tax that could be set up if lottery and casinos were legalized can help pay for all that stuff plus more. And then teachers would have to go through a check, background check and make sure that they're going to do their job. Make sure they're not going to do anything illegal. Make sure they're not just going to give up on the kids. Because we all know in this day that there are kids that are given, that are left behind basically because the teachers don't care enough. Now, I understand the importance of education, and this is the whole point behind what I'm saying. If you truly care about your kids' education, this is one bill you should be behind. It, yes, you'd be paying taxes, a uh, tax towards it. When you buy a lottery ticket, yes, when you win money at a casino, some of the tax uh, tax would be taken out of it. But is your kid's future, their education, is it not worth it? Do you not want your kids to do better than you? As a as a uh, as a person who wants to be a father, even though I may not have kids, I care about kids' education. Whether I tell people all the time, I even tell the kids at my church, don't give up on your education. Do what it takes to succeed, because nothing's more important than education. Yes, there are some stuff we learn that we don't really need to use, but as long as it's being taught, it's still necessary to learn it and even if you don't agree with it being taught just put up with it and to learn I want to be a father one day and I get married find the right woman I want to be a father and I will tell you this I will teach my kids no my any my future kids I will teach them the importance of education Okay. On top of that, too, how many people who are down here in the state it's known just how long it takes for them to get a construction done. Some construction done. Some of it's due to lack of funds. Guess what? That lottery tax and also part of the revenue from that the the gambling tax. Slash lottery tax. I'll go ahead and add that to lottery slash gambling tax. It could also be used to pay for construction. Hey, you know what that means? Less road, uh, uh, less potholes. Less, I mean, faster construction. Maybe not that fast, much faster, but it'll just be a little bit faster because they'll have some revenue coming in to help pay. So, I mean, one. So, what's the whole point behind Alabama government? the politicians in Alabama whether you're from the Senate or or from the House of Representatives because the Senate obviously didn't fight hard enough to get it through the House because if they truly wanted it they would keep fighting for it so yes someone in the Senate a few politicians in the Senate got paid off I know they did a bunch of politicians in the House of Representatives got paid off. I know they did. And I guarantee that Bentley did. But everything so far, I mean, don't get me wrong, I didn't list everything that this the revenue from those taxes can do for your kids' education or for the public transit system, or for the school systems, or for road construction. Well, maybe I did say everything for construction, but I think there's a few other ones.
But do you really? But how much do you... Okay, so here's my question for you one last time. That last second question for you one last time. How much do you care about you? No, sorry. Do you care about your kids' education enough to support the lottery being legalized? Support. Support lottery being legalized. Support. Yeah, support the lottery system and casinos being legalized. Do you support that? Do you care enough about your kids' education to support that? Now that you know there's some stuff that the tax revenue can actually pay for. doesn't even have to be my kid. I care. Simple as that. So, I'm signing out with a few things. Hashtag down with corruption. Hashtag U.S. government needs a total makeover. Hashtag corrupt politicians are terrorists. Hashtag stand up for kids' education, for your kids' education. Hashtag represent your kids' education. Hashtag represent all kids' education. Hashtag stand up for all kids' education. Peace out. Joker signing out.